All right, guys, this is Joe from Hunting in PA. Um, today I am doing a video here on the Sportsman's Box. Just so uh, you all, and this is a monthly subscription box that uh, you can do all kinds of different one month, three month, year. Obviously, the longer subscription you do, the better deal it is. Um, I am not getting paid to do this. I am not getting a discount to do this. Uh, just doing this on my own. Um, so this is, like I showed you, this is the box that comes in. Um, it runs about $39 a month. Uh, I believe from the website they say anywhere from $50 to $60 or something like that worth of stuff. So, as you can see, my box is already open. Um, and this is the August 2017 box. Um, so, one of the things that comes in the box is a uh, card here that tells you what's inside. Um, so, we're going to go through here and look. And it says total value of this, according to them, is $62. Hopefully, y'all can read that. Um, to start out, we'll do this, the smallest and go up. So their mystery item, um, which either mossy oak hand warmer gear, uh, mossy oak hand warmer, or gear aid tenacious tape. Uh, I got the mossy oak hand warmer. So they're a pack of two hand warmers um, that are mossy oak, which is brand I uh, camouflage that I wear and I buy um, and so yeah that's nice hand warmers always nice thing to have especially uh, Pennsylvania deer season can get very very cold if you end up having to hunt deer in uh, rifle season and even sometimes archery um, they say that is two to five dollars uh, the next thing is um, Scent lock field wipes. So you get a pack of uh, scent lock field wipes. Also says here on the package you can use as a dryer sheet. All right, not a bad idea. Field wipes in the field. You kill a deer. You need to wipe your hands off. Uh, kill a bear. Ant, you know whatever. Y'all kite hunting to get blood all over you something like that um, nice thing to have is uh, some field wipes and they say those are a nine nine dollar value and by the way uh, I will go through and look at I uh, will just have my phone here and look up and see what if I can find online what these go for um, guardian oh back to the scent lock they also give you a little advertisement here for scent lock to give you the different uh, products and stuff for their clothes so just kind of an in informational thing um, if you're interested in buying scent lock equipment um, the next thing is if I can find it here we go the next thing is the guardian hunting tag holder uh, right here so this is a tag that you would, uh, this is a, something that you could use to hold your hunting tag. Uh, so for example, if you kill an animal, uh, some states, uh, the tags can be very susceptible to, um, to the elements. If it's a rainy day, really snowy, or something like that. Uh, Pennsylvania tags are pretty good. Um, used, you can zip tie a tag on there. Onto uh, onto the leg or the ear or whatever you're you're hunting, and the tags you know you write on them, they're not going to come off. It had to be a pretty bad day, uh, which would probably be a day you shouldn't be out hunting anyways. Uh, but not a bad thing. I like the little zip tie. I like using zip ties to zip by my tags onto my my deer or turkey or whatever. Um, if I'm hunting that I big game that I in Pennsylvania, we have to put a tag on um, when we kill it. So not a bad thing to have a little zip tie and you know you can stick your tag in there and then you can zip tie it to the animal uh, and you preserve your tag um, 
kind of like uh, I did that on. Let me grab this. I killed a buck a few years ago. And I, you know, did this, although it's not in plastic, but, you know, I preserved the tag. It's kind of nice. You can go back and look and, and look and see, you know, remember, you know, 20 years from now where you killed it and all. So, which is kind of cool. Um, anyways, nice little thing to have in your pack. You never know. You never know when you might use zip ties. So maybe you don't use a plastic holder, uh, but you could definitely use a zip tie. Um, and you definitely a little plastic bag. You could stick stuff in there to keep it from the weather. If you need to, you know, if you use any kind of like little electronic earbuds or something like that that didn't come with a case, maybe you bought a cheap version or something like that, um, you can use, you have a little plastic case this stuff. Um, the next thing, and they're saying uh, $3 for that um, Guardian hunting tag holder. Uh, next thing is the Thermocell tree hanger. Um, you all can see that, right? Thermocell tree hanger, um, which will allow you, as you can see in the picture, kind of nice picture it tells you, you just screw it into the tree, um, and then you put your, your Thermocell on there, and um, and then you just turn your thermocell on and put it on there and you know, hang the tree in the tree stand next to you um, which is uh, a really nice thing especially if you early season archery hunting it can be pretty buggy uh, if you hunt in the south um, in southern states either in southern Pennsylvania Maryland it can get pretty buggy too um, if you hunt in the southern states like uh, North Carolina South Carolina Georgia stuff like that um, I hunted in North Carolina for a few years I do know what it's like to hunt in uh, early early September when when the, it's just bugs. So it'd been nice back then when I was hunting uh, to have a thermocell. They, at that time, they didn't have a thermocell; wasn't out. You just had to put a bunch of bug spray on. Uh, but yeah, these are kind of cool, and I like the very slim design on the screw holder. Uh, as anybody knows, put anything that screws into a tree, um, it can be very difficult sometimes to get it started. Um, especially when you're standing in a tree stand and it can be very uh, it can be a pain let's just put it that way um, but the very thin design allows it to start easily obviously it doesn't have to hold a lot of weight so it doesn't have to be big uh, but if you have one of these and say you've got a big uh, a big hanger or something like that bow hanger or something that's got a pretty thick corkscrew you could use this to start the hole if you move to a new spot and you can uh, and then and then you can then you put and then you put your your bigger your corkscrew and then you can screw this back into a back in the tree wherever you need to to hang your, your uh, thermocell um, so kind of nice to have you small you can fit in your pack so it doesn't take up a lot of space uh, heck you can probably even fit it in your uh, if you have cargo pockets in my pants like I do or your your jacket pocket or something like that um, so kind of really cool and nice thing I have some other uh, just standard regular thermostat holders that screw in and just hang on there but it's kind of cool to have one of these too never have too many thermostats right uh, and the last thing you got which is the most expensive item in the box according to them uh, $35 uh, oh sorry the thermostat tree hanger uh, $10 um, and then the therm and then they sent you a uh, thermocell unit. I've already opened it. Um, this is the newest, I believe, the MR, the MR450. Um, if you hear squeaking in the background, that would be my dog. So, this is the new thermocell. I've already opened it up and, uh, package and, and and turn it on and everything so it comes with uh, and I it kind of see it comes with a couple uh, it comes with a few of the mats um, it comes with a bottle of um, stuff which I already put mine in it does not come in the unit by the way um, I have just so you have an idea of I have a a older version I've had for a couple years this is the older version right and this is the back <laughs> sorry about that this is the MR 450 I don't know if they're still making this I didn't really research it that much to find out if they're still making this older version um, 
The pads are the pretty much the same size. I don't see any difference in size in the pads. Uh, as far as I know, the bottles are exactly the same. Um, I don't think there's any. They both screw in and screw in and screw out. Um, as you can see, mine is. That one looks like it's empty. Anyways, I have some extra, so hopefully I didn't really go into it, but I'm pretty sure my extras I had for this and everything will fit on this. As far as I know, it's not any different bottles, the same pads, but really cool design. Uh, it's got the rubber on the side, so it's much more grippable. Um, and it also has this thing they call a zone light, which is this thing right here, um, at where my thumb is at. And it uh, once you start to burn the mat, um, it will light up. It does take a battery, which you remove those two screws in the back of the unit, and then there's a little plastic thing that you pull out, and uh, you then put the battery in, and once it gets to uh, a certain, once the mat starts burning, this blue mat, this light will light up, they call it a zone light, and it means it is now uh, repelling insects. I know with the older version, sometimes it was, you know, unless you could see the smoke, which sometimes you couldn't, depending on the weather conditions. But once this light goes out, it means the mat's fully, uh, fully done. So it means the time to change it. So you can run it without the, the battery in there. You don't need this thing. It will still work fine. It's just a nice little feature on here um, that can now, you can tell when your mat is burning and actually supposedly is, is, is actually repelling mosquitoes. Um, and then also uh, when it's done, the light goes out, you know you need to put a new mat on. So kind of a nice little feature there. And they also come with a belt clip. So you can clip it to your belt while you're walking. i make sure you guys can see that. So you can click it to your belt while, while you're watching. And then uh, once you're all done, you know, once you get in your tree stand, then you can hang it on your thermostat hanger. Or if you have somewhere up in the tree, you can clip it on the tree somewhere. Possibly. Anyways, so that's the items. Um, the total value of $62. And real quickly, I'm going to uh, take my phone here and I will, and I think I'm just going to use about 32 bucks for a box of 40. Uh, so if you break it down, uh, it's less than a dollar a piece. Um, so I would say with tax and everything you would pay at a retail store you'd probably be right around that two dollars and something range and you're all said and done if you were just buying two of them so i guess that's not too bad and amazon tends to be cheaper especially and that was a 40 pack so i'm sure that that was a cheaper option um set lock uh let's just do i'm just gonna look here so next thing we do is a set lock I did find this one. This is a back 40 trading. Uh, they sell it. It's a 16 pack of scent locks with free. Sh oh, it's over. Never mind. So, 16 pack of. They're selling a 16 pack of uh, scent lock fee ups for $14.93. Um, 93 cents uh, on their. Um, website so uh, actually quite a bit more expensive than what the card has here um, guardian hunting tag so you're looking at about two dollars and ninety cents a piece if you were buying it at a store you know pay tax on that which would be around three dollars so that's pretty accurate on that one like the thermocell AJ TH tree hanger uh, they have ten dollars value, um, saying uh, twelve dollars and forty-seven cents. Um, so about thirteen bucks. And lastly, which I have not went out and looked and see how much these are. I thought about doing that today, uh, but I did not. Maybe I'll do it later. But um, see how much they are, like Walmart or something like that. Uh, Thermocell MR four fifty. Repeller. They're saying it's thirty-five dollar value. Uh, you can uh, thirty-two Amazon. 
they're saying $35, I would say plus tax if you're at your local store. Uh, so I didn't look at local stores uh, like Walmart and stuff like that, um, but they're probably... Um, Thermosel MR450. For sale. Um, cheaper than dirt, thirty-four dollars eighty cents. Amazon thirty-two fifty-eight. Uh, Cabela's thirty-four ninety-nine. Walmart forty-one twenty-one. Forty-one twenty-nine. Walmart's not always free shipping now, but you got to remember you're paying that extra five six bucks for it you're, you're paying shipping so if you don't have Walmart close to your house or something like that uh, normally shipping you know even something that size of boxes seven eight nine dollars might be worth it uh, you don't have to leave your house you can just order it and then you can spend that money on shipping and you spend that money on gas uh, if you don't have a Walmart now if you have a, like me I have a Walmart that's ten minutes away so I probably can go there and get it cheaper but I have a Cabela's, it's like an hour away, it's cheaper, uh, or a Sportsman's box, which was even cheaper for me. So, anyways, I would say that it was pretty close. A couple of them were kind of off, uh, I thought were <coughs> like scent locks. I think most stores are selling them for more than $9. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe scent locks, maybe that's scent locks MSRP price that they have in their system. Uh, or it was a misprint, you never know. It was made by humans, so it could be wrong. But, um, just so you guys are aware, um, I, I subscribed to this recently. This is my first subscription box I have ever done. Um, but I was, I was pleasantly pleased, although I did know what was coming in the box. This isn't the only review on YouTube I know with the Sportsman's box. So I had already seen others, so I knew it was coming in the August box. Um, so this is the August box. I got this probably, uh, I don't know, like a week ago or something like that. Uh, I, I ordered it after the normal time frame, and they sent me the box right away for August. Uh, I should be getting, uh, uh, I believe here, uh, another September box in sometime this next couple. I'm By the 10th, I think, is when they say that it, it ships out by. So first half of this month uh, I should be getting a September box which I will do a I'll show you guys what it is um, and so and then also we're getting close to hunting season so here in Pennsylvania uh, some of the counties in Pennsylvania I know open up um, halfway through September some of the more eastern counties that are closer to the cities uh, archery season ends opens up uh, dove season will be opening soon uh, and then beginning of October, uh, or actually I think it's September 30th, I believe, without, from going by memory, I believe September 30th, the whole statewide uh, archery will start, um, and it will be hunting in, uh, I mean, in Tioga County mostly. Uh, I do not live in Tioga County, FYI, um, so, but I will be hunting up in Tioga County at the cabin. Um, I do not hunt i say I never hunt public land. The last buck I shot was on public land. However, it was bordering a friend of mine's property. Um, and it's very difficult to get to that, that state game lands as it is. So not a lot of people hunt it. And uh, so we we use advantage of he lets us, he let us, you know, hunt on his property. And we were kind of hunting right on the border. And, uh, and I was able to take my, my last buck, uh, my eight point um, that I shot a few years ago. Um, uh, every year I usually get a deer, uh, a doe, I'm not, uh, so hopefully this year I'll fill my, fill my, both my tags, um, and we'll get some videos, try to get some videos here of hunts and stuff like that, uh, videos of my subscription box to see what it is, um, it is, uh, www.sportsmansbox.com, I will put a link in the description, um, I'm not paid to do this. Uh, I think it's nice. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of different subscription boxes. I started doing some research, and there is everything uh, from hunting, uh, tactical, survival, uh, health, uh, fitness, um, pets, uh, things like that. There is just about 
anything uh, subscription, subscription box. I do not know. I imagine some of them are probably a raw deal. I have to admit, the Sportsman's box, uh, it's not that expensive. Um, considering I, I don't make a lot of money a year, I don't hunt professionally, I have a, I have a regular job that I work, uh, you know, 8 to 5 every day, and, and uh, being a sales job, it, it often is, you know, 8 to 5 in the office, and but it could be, it could start at 6 o'clock, or it could end at 8 o'clock, it just, it varies, it could be weekends for me, so I don't have exceptionally a lot of time to hunt, I am a normal person, I have to work, I don't get paid for anything, if anybody wants to send me free stuff, sure. <laughs> send me send me a message. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny it, but nobody gives me uh, you know any kind of money every month to promote them or their box or products. So you will see I use uh, I have certain things that I like, certain camos I like, and see the products I use. Um, hopefully over time as these videos come out and I get better at it, they won't suck as bad as this one probably does. So being said that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully in the future as my videos get better, uh, they get more fun and more interesting, and uh, we can have a lot more fun. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.